Hello everybody, welcome back to the video today. Today we're going to be watching SML movie, Jeffy Shooting Star. And look, okay, I got some people asking me to react to other stuff. Just, I don't know, put it down in the comment. But that's all I can ask, because I'm, I'm going to be honest. I picked this for a reason, because I like this. I don't want to react to things I don't like. Um, but, you know. To be fair, I wouldn't know if I don't like it if I've never seen it. So we don't know. Anyways, let's get this video started. Danny, why am I blindfolded? Because, Jeffy, we have a big old plate of ice cream in front of you with chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. So I want you to take a bite and guess the flavor. Yummy! Yummy! Yeah, so take a big old spoonful of ice cream. All right. Are you sure it's not green beans? No, it's ice creams. Eat it. All right. I better be safe than sorry. What are you doing? Jeffy, why would you do that? Tell me see if I was right. Knew it. What Jeffy eat your green beans right now? I want pizza! You're not eating pizza, you're gonna eat those green beans off the ground. Come on, baby. Bro, it's fucking what stupid. Make my own or not pizza. stupid, but he knew it. He's like, I'm smart. Take your peach out, put it in there, open up um, your oven. Uh, a little bit of lags. We have to get him to eat green beans somehow. There True. Are other vegetables, Marvin. No, they're not. They're really not. Um. Wow. Bro said, I didn't burn it. Oh, then why is it smoking here? Because I burned it. I really sold him. Sold hard. Sold hard on the damn bus. Okay, so Simmons is a. God, I hate opening these things. Simmons, now I can smell it through my helmet. Now we're gonna be trapped up here with that smell for three months. Give me a second. Here. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Bro, we just said not again. Jonathan, you gotta pick it up, bro. That's Brooklyn's brother. Look how Brooklyn is. He stole it. Let's be real. Really? Oh crap. Let's skip that. We do not give a fuck. The International Space Station has fallen fire. Hold up. That's a whole minute of ad. That's crazy. Crash in a residential area on Earth. There were two astronauts on board in there. The International Space Station crashed. There's four astronauts. Hey, why did I land? How is he so lost? Are you okay? I've been better, Marvin. I'll be honest. I have been better. What happened to you? Well, I was flying in the International Space Station, and then my co astronaut lit a lighter in the cabin and ignited the poop fumes because methane gas is very flammable, so the whole thing exploded and I landed in your pool. Is your co astronaut alive? I don't know. He's probably dead. Wait, Jeffy, is that the shooting star you wish on? Maybe. What? So Jeffy said he saw a shooting star outside and he wished for pizza. Oh, that wasn't a shooting star. That was a burning space station. And I really wish you had wished that I wasn't burning to death at 250 miles in the air. To be fair, he didn't know it was a space 
police station. But guys, the craziest thing that just happened here is that Jeffy wished for a pizza and it came true. Really? That's the craziest thing? That is pretty crazy. Not the international space station crashing in your backyard and one of the astronauts surviving and then coming into your house and laying down on the pizza? That's not the craziest thing? No, that is crazy, but wishes aren't real and Jeffy wished for something and it just appeared. Yeah. Pizza's crazy. Anyway, I gotta, I gotta go. go. I gotta go to my pilot job because I don't want to get fired. <laughs> oh, you're in so much pain. Oh, Jeffy, you're not allowed to eat this. I'm sure you're a doctor, but what are you a doctor, Doc? Jeffy, his magic wish for a pizza? No, he can't get his way. I hate when he gets his way. You literally almost killed astronaut over pizza. Well, I don't want my pizza, Daddy. No, Jeffy, if you're going to eat it, you're going to eat it outside. Okay. Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. Go on, get out of here. You got to go to school tomorrow. But tomorrow's Saturday. You have to go to school every day at your party. You're going to school forever. What kind of punishment is that? Oh man, I'm really glad that shower could wash all the ashes off me and put my eye drops in. Man, I really gotta stop talking to myself in the cockpit. If anybody hits a black box recording, they're gonna think I'm crazy. Oh, what a flock of birds! Maybe if I hit him with my plane, I can land the plane like Sully and I'll be a hero! <laughs> Take that, birds! Oh, good, it knocked out both engines. Now I just have to glide the plane and land it on a lake. Oh, wait, I just said all of that out loud. If anybody does hit the black box recording, I'm gonna be in so much trouble, I'm gonna go to jail forever! Okay, I just gotta crash the plane so hard it disintegrates the black box. I just have to make sure I jump out at the right time. Uh, my daddy wow. shot me. I don't want to go to school. Another shooting star. I wish I never had to go to school ever again. Daddy, daddy, daddy. I went out to like you told me to. And I was going to eat my pizza. We didn't know it was another shooting star. And I wish for no more school. Jimmy, that's not going to happen. There's no way school's going to stop existing. Look at the news. Bruh. Breaking news! A passenger plane carrying 300 people has crashed into an elementary school. Wow. The school is closed indefinitely. In other words, it's closed until it's not. Look, Daddy, my wish wow. came true! Baby, how did his wish come true? true? He went wow. to no more school and then a plane in the school which means no more school! This motherfucker is so lucky. This is the school! Baby, there's no kid at the school. It's nighttime. You should be sending those poor people on the airplane. They're not poor, Marvin. They can afford a plane ticket. Wow. They're still dead. People. Hey guys, I need you to help me hide this black box because if somebody finds it, I'm gonna go to jail. But what's going on? Well, I was flying my plane and I wanted to be a hero like Sully, so I hit a flock of birds. But then I realized the black box recorded me saying I was gonna do that, so I decided to crash the plane into a school, hoping the explosion would disintegrate the black box. But man, they make these things pretty tough. How did you survive the crash? Well, I jumped out at the last second right. into a bounce house factory. You know, a place that makes bounce houses. Right. I'm not gonna lie, I bounced around for a little while before right. I came over here. I was having right. a good time. Oh god, it's even crazier. It doesn't involve pizza. Kinda. Jeffy went outside his pizza, he saw another shooting star, and he wished for no more school, and then you crashed your plane into his school. And let me no guess, he's gonna say that wasn't a shooting star. Can you believe his wishes keep coming true? These don't really sound like wishes, they sound like coincidences. Yeah, they're coincidences. Maybe they're looking for something cool like a dinosaur. I don't know, you have to ask him. Just come out the door. Hello. Hey there, my name is Chief and I'm with the NTSB. I'm trying to track down a black box from a plane that crashed a few miles from here. Oh, well, if it crashed a few miles away from me, go check that area. It's not here. Well, you see, the International Space Station crashed in your backyard, so I was already in the neighborhood and I figured you might have it. Oh, no, I don't have a black box here. Hmm. Well, the black box does have a tracker that says it is inside your house. Maybe it's on my roof. No, no, it is very precise. It says it's in your house upstairs on the couch. See, we need the black box to be very, very precise. Oh, well, I mean, we can go take a look, but I don't think it's there. All right, thank you. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, hey, Chief of the NTSB. I see him. Thank you. Well, what are you doing here? I'm just trying to track down the black box of the plane you were flying. Oh, well, well I got it right here. I, I just wanted to grab it before it fell into the wrong hands. Well, how did you survive the crash? I jumped out at the last minute into a bounce house factory. That seems very lucky. Yeah, it, yeah. it really was. I think we better listen to that recording. Oh, no, we don't have to do that. I, I already heard it. It's actually really boring. You don't want to listen to that. I think I'll listen to it anyway. Wow. Well, guy, looks like you're going to prison. You have to catch me first. Oh, come on, guy, don't make me catch you. I'm old. All right, I gotta go after him. You guys can hang on to the black box. I got what I need. Marvin, look, the news! Breaking news, okay? Lance is out of town, and we forgot to get a 
the scene, so now I have to do a shitty voiceover of Mr. Goodman. I was wondering why it sounded like shit. And he's like, we forgot. And look, he even looks different too. Breaking news. A meteor the size of Mount Rushmore is coming right at Earth. And nothing's going to stop it. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. Jackie, you've made two wishes that came true. So if you can wish on the meteor that won't kill us, we'll all live. Um... Hey guys, it's Logan. We officially wow. That was like, it just happened. Didn't even give him a chance. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. See ya. And, bye.